ตาแนน Right, so um, King Grinder released yet another amazing product. So this is the King Grinder P series. Okay, this is intended to intended for the lower end markets, but they would still offer amazing quality. We're not so sure about the amazing quality yet, but yes, we'll find out when we open this. The P series has three variants, the P0, the P1, and the P2. So the P series, P0, P1, and P2 differs in the burr. So they all have the same um, body, but they all differ in burr. The burr of the P0 looks like this, and the burr of the P1 looks like this, and then the P2 looks like this. Right, they said that the P0 is intended for filter use, and the P1 is intended for omni use, and then the P2 is intended for espresso use. Right, so today we are opening the King Grinder P2. Okay, the box is the box is kind of cheap. It doesn't it doesn't match. It doesn't match the same packaging as the other King Grinder um, products, but the foam does. It's it, it, it's exactly the same foam. <laughs> Well, of course, what can you expect with a very cheap product, right? So the P0 retails for $22, the P1 retails for $33, and the P2 retails for $44. That's in Amazon. But in Shopee, here in the Philippines, in Shopee, you can get them the P0 for $1,350, the P1 for $1,450, and then the P2 for $1,550. Right, let's get going. Um, ooh. Okay, here it is. Um, it has a very simple, um, has a very simple body with the King Grinder embossed logo here. Right, and then the handle looks um, looks different. It has a straight handle, and then let's see if we can still rem oh we can still remove the we can still remove the handle. So we can still replace it with another one or like a commandante handle. Right, it looks kind of weird to me because of the straight handle. Right, and then it comes with a rubber sleeve with King, with King Grinder writing on it. I think it has a nice, I think the size is really nice. Um, let's compare it with the Q Air. Okay, I have a caliper here. So let's measure the diameter of this. It comes in at 50 mm. Ooh. So we can use the rubber footing again with this one. Okay. Comes in at 50 mm and the height is 130. So it's almost as tall as the Commandante. Commandante is 150 with a smaller diameter. It feels it feels good on the hand. Okay, I want to I want to try if it fits the AeroPress. Ah, it doesn't fit the AeroPress anymore. Ah, it doesn't fit the AeroPress. Ah, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's compare it with the Q Air. So this is the Q Air. 
The Q air is is 2 mm taller. It is 132 mm, while the King Grinder um, P2 is 130 mm. And then the diameter of the Q air is 47 mm. And the, the Q air fits perfectly inside the AeroPress with room to spare. Actually, you can put, I don't know, maybe like paper around or a thin cloth for cleaning. Yeah, but I think this is still the best tandem. Right. Um, I think they have the same insides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Seven, um, seven cutters also. But, but the King Grinder K, ah, but the King Grinder P2, um, you cannot open this part. So it is bolted on just like the K6. Yeah, it's bolted onto the plastic. Right, I wanna remove this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it apart. Um, okay, I wanna take it apart so that we can see what's inside. Oh, it has a very nice um, tactile feel on the adjustment um, adjustment knob. Mm, I like the feeling of that. But it has a weird zero. The zero is not at, at number six. Right. Let's see if we can calibrate that. Okay, so we have the adjustment knob. And then here is the setting plate. Yeah, the setting plate is quite thin. It looks like a coin. And then the actual burr. Oh, look at that. It looks really nice. Especially, we haven't used it. Yeah, it looks like a shuriken. <laughs> and then you have the axle. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can remove the axle because I cannot push it out. Yeah, even if I force... Oh! Yeah, I don't think we're gonna... We're gonna be able to remove that from... It's the other way around. Okay, let me try and pry this open. This Because it has a... It has a locking, locking washer here. In, on the, at the top. It's gonna be hard to remove this. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try another time to open this, and then I'm gonna teach you how to do it. But right now, I don't want to. I don't want the video to take too long. So we're gonna put it back. I haven't checked the um, grind size chart of for for the king grinder p2 oh there's another thing different look at the look at the axle it is square see the axle is square so unlike um unlike most grinders that you can like the q air you can actually use this with your king grinder k6 you can use this with the Easy Presso ZP6, 
Um, you can use it with most grinders because it has the standard um, like the Allen hexagonal axle. Yeah, like the six sides. But this grinder has four sides. The axle has four sides. That's weird. So maybe it comes with a maybe it comes with a cheap price of it. Um, I want to try and grind something. So I'm gonna try and um, grind some coffee beans, and let's see what the experience is like. The crank arm is, I don't know, it's quite weird. Because unlike this, um, unlike this handle, which, which lowers your hand a bit so that you have better, um, better control on the axle, this one, your hand is directly on top of the axle. So it's quite harder. Yeah, it, it kind of, it kind of asks for more effort. Yeah, but overall I think I think it's 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 I think it's nice. And I really like the how this kind of plastic tightens and also the texture of it. I like the texture of it. Yeah, I like how how they made this um yeah i think just the overall feel of the grinder is quite nice yeah i hope i hope they come up with with a better handle yeah because right now the only thing that i don't like about this grinder is the handle is the crank arm right here yeah that's that's just about the only thing that I hate about this one. But I think it makes, I think the grind quality is really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised. All right, um, since I don't have the grind chart for this grinder yet, I'm gonna play with it first and then we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do all the tests that we've been doing for, for all the grinders that we have. Um, but for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!